name is Jocelyn Kopak, and I am known as the Clubhouse Professor. I absolutely love dealing with social audio every single day and how it can benefit your life business, knowledge, personal development, and so much more. So before we get started, first and foremost, let's talk about what Clubhouse is. Clubhouse is a casual drop-in audio app that allows you to go into rooms full of people talking and exploring and learning about different topics. These conversations are drop-in and drop out. You can just peace out whenever you need to. It's a place to meet friends, new people, business acquaintances, partnerships, And these people are all over the world. You can tell stories, ask questions, debate things, learn new things, and have just basically impromptu conversations about anything you want to talk about. So when you first get into Clubhouse, let's do a quick little orientation on what you are going to see. So the first thing you're going to see right here is the hallway. You'll see all the different rooms that you have available to you and you can click into any one of them to look at it. That pull down to refresh, you see that little circle? That's pull down to refresh so you can refresh your hallway at any point in time. When you click on your invites, you can invite anybody you know uh, via this invite button. Clubhouse is open so you don't have to worry about that. This right here is your upcoming events. These are the people that you follow, the people that maybe you know in Clubhouse, maybe you don't know you're in their club, something like that. And you're able to switch this events tab over to your specific events. As you can see, I don't have any upcoming events. I haven't scheduled out my events for the upcoming week yet, but they will all show up there. The next thing you will see is the activities little bell. You can scroll down, see who's followed you, see what events are going on. You can pull down to refresh. You can see all of your activities are now gray because you already saw them, the notifications. And of course, you can go in and join the things that you are invited to there. The next thing is your profile. Yay, look at my face. You can see my face, my name, my username, uh, how many people follow me, uh, the people I'm following, my bio, my links to my social medias. Of course, you can see who invited me into Clubhouse way back when. And then the very bottom, you can see the clubs I'm part of. So as a quick little thing, if you click on the settings up at the top, you can pause your notifications, you can change your notifications to fewer or more, you can update your settings altogether when it comes to notifications, just to make sure you're getting the most out of this app and your experience. The thing I will tell you is take a second and go into your interests. This interest tab is really important because it helps Clubhouse know what you're interested in and showing you the right clubs and rooms for you to get really into these conversations. You also have languages. Make sure you select the languages, all the languages you can speak and also listen to. If you can listen to a language and know what they're saying, even though you can't speak, speak it, this is the place to select all of those. And then lastly, you can look at the what's new, the FAQ, the community guidelines, terms of service, and their privacy policy here in Clubhouse. Very important that you follow those things. We'll do more videos on that later. Lastly, you can, of course, select the little icon to share your specific profile to anybody. As you can see, I've got some friends on Snapchat that that I can share directly to. But of course, you can go to any other app you have that's a communication app and share it. If you tap on your bio, this will pop up. You're able to type into your bio right here. Check out a later video because we will talk about what exactly should go into your bio. Very important stuff that should be in there so people can really get to know you and be able to get in contact with you if they like you. On the bottom of your profile, you can see all the different clubs you are part of whether that's following, whether that's being a member, whatever. And you can then click into that and see what's going on there. You can also click into your followers, see who's following you, so you can get in contact with them. You can click into your username, change that up. You can click into your name and change that up. You only can do that once in a while. So just keep that in mind that if you're constantly changing your name, probably not a great idea. And that is the basis of your profile. Now going back out to the hallway, so it's just a quick little swipe left, right, swipe right <laughs> on, uh, on Clubhouse, you're able to then click into the little explore icon. It's the magnifying glass in the upper left-hand corner. 
when you get to there, you'll be able to see people that you should be following, that they say, hey, these are people that you really probably will do really well following. And you're able then to type in something that matters to you. So I just used Clubhouse as a really quick example. You'll see people that are have Clubhouse in their bio or their name right here. And then if you toggle over to the right that says clubs, you'll be able to see the people that are in the clubs um, and in the clubs that have Clubhouse in their name. You can click into any one of them, see who's in that club, see the information. Here, I'm gonna just you know change it up a little bit and try to find a club with a little bit better bio, but here's all the different options you can have and you can use any adjective, any noun, whatever you're looking for, type it in. I can almost guarantee you there's someone or a group of someone's talking about this. So CH is the shortened version of Clubhouse. I'm looking for a very specific club here on Clubhouse. So uh, right here, and so I'm scrolling, trying to see if I can find it. Finally, I give up here. <laughs> <laughs> and I just type it in for you guys because I know um, that's what I wanted to see. So Clubhouse Town Hall, CH Town Hall, they recap the town hall every single week. So you know what's coming up and what's happening in Clubhouse. But this is a great little bio. And this is someone that you should probably follow. He's around Clubhouse all the time. There you go. That's a quick little explore tab recommendation. Now, lastly, this is how you can search people. I searched my last name. I do have a backup account and I'm clicking the little arrow to then message me. This is called the back channel here in Clubhouse. You're going to want to check it. People will be messaging you. So you can just shoot out a nice little message. And then now I'm going back to my home screen and going into my back channel there to see it right there. So there you go. That is how you can see your back channel, your messages that people are sending you. And that's the basics of Clubhouse. If you have any questions, feel free to drop questions somewhere around this video or find me on Instagram, Jocelyn J. Kopak. I'm more than happy to answer your questions about Clubhouse and uh, Clubhub is an amazing resource for you to continue to dig in to how you can use Clubhouse and how you can continue to get oriented. I'll see you in a future video. Bye.